it's wrestling hero figs 2019 i would say it was a really good year for mattel man there was a lot of upgrades from what they were doing in the past when it came to the true fx adding more accessories 2020 is only going to be that much better well at least we're hoping i mean the fiend figure should be released later on some we'll have to discuss later because we need to go through right here even though alistair black was released later on in the year this gem right here i feel like they worked up to it man they released some great stuff earlier on and then they're like you know what we're gonna go all out man the first alistair black people loved it but this time we're gonna go above and beyond with his entrance gear in which they did this jacket right here it's really something to write home about man i love having it displayed with the whole thing plus the added tattoos it was a reused head scan from the first one but it did get one up because it did get the true effects plus the knee pad and the kick pad it was just a great combo now i want you guys to tell me also your top five favorite figures from this year there was so much going on especially when it came to Shinsuke Nakamura we saw him in the Survivor Series and the reason why he's sitting pretty high right here on this list is because it was just something different from what we saw in the past I mean normally every everything that we got prior to this it was either like a black attire or a red attire so when we saw the blue hey this nice little extra and also the ultimate edition I think we can categorize some of these figures even though they're in a different price point and it's just its own entity I feel like this one right here as a matter of fact all of them might be in this video but i guess you'll have to find out man you'll have to stick around and find out why the hardy boys right here the ringside exclusive hardy boys were a long awaited gem for any collector i mean yes obviously matt hardy did come with a cloth shirt this was uh it was a fix-up that i wanted to do just to kind of have some that i was expecting when we got the attitude era but yes those ringside exclusive hardy boys for sure how do you feel about it ec3 hero figs i'm doing it man you see me with the signs i'm seeing it clear as clear as day man such a great figure for any tna mark when this got put out dude not only was it gonna help you out with your nxt with your raw but also your tna figure display this one was like an absolute must of having multiple if you like having like different eras displayed on yourself now this one right here this is uh you know here's the thing it was a it was a battle it was i'm gonna be straight up when it came down to ranking which andrade i liked the most the ringside exclusive also known as the nxt takeover it was was a great figure but there was just so much going for this man they really just went out and added so much to this like the cloth jacket the interchangeable head scan so if you want regular andrade or if you want a mask you had options the only downfall was the torso not on this one because we did do a fix up on it but they went back to a uh, smaller torso i mean that was really the only drawback like had that come with the same torso as the ringside exclusive batista would have came in here and dropped a huge power bomb right here on the video him in that triple h like even though like you don't see batista all that much and we only saw him wear this once uh, you know there's a lot of different looks like for example it would have been it'd be nice to still see i'm sure they'll eventually release it for the time being they wanted to get something that people were more familiar with but yes the match between him and Triple H, it's nice, man. Again, just some minor little things that it was missing. I think we uh, we stressed it too much when it came to that nose ring. But everything else, the paint deco, the tattoos, were all right on that. And that goes the same for Randy Orton. This was the very first Randy Orton. It took so many years, you guys, to finally get Orton with the correct tattoos coming through right here by the front chest slash shoulder area. So that, just that alone, you guys, I mean, that was a remarkable feet in and of its own like you could have picked up like six eight ten you could have got all of your randy ordens updated torso cracked them and get them all corrected just with that one figure alone matt hardy from wrestlemania 36 this full series the build a figure series i i really did like all of them man like even though kofi had a bad head scan i feel like all of them really benefited in it i again i hope that it's a tradition i'm hoping 2020 we see more build a figures here because this was awesome him and booker t i'd have to say they were my top two from that wave dude the five time champ Camp right here the booker t the young booker yeah we got the king booker we also got one in early wave i think it was either 16 it was really really early but we never got something from this time and era which works great for either ruthless aggression well actually late attitude ruthless aggression and you can also use some of this right here some of the parts to do like a wcw rusev the bulgarian yes he needed the update man like every other rusev before 
the shorts, they were too low. Like this look, this is the kind of look that he had for, I would say, a good year, maybe two years. I would say yeah, about 18 months until like Mattel's like, all right, we got to do an updated Rusev dude. He doesn't do the long shorts. So it makes no sense to have him like that. Him and Roman Reigns right here. I think this is part of Elite Series 65. Obviously, this one does have a different look because I had to get mine updated once we got the WrestleMania battle pack right here with him and Drew McIntyre. I mean, the look, it is similar, but you're getting more of a, the beard action with the blue. So when the Superman Punch logo was displayed right there, hey, an absolute must right here. Buddy Murphy, the figure that had gotten the chase in that. Now, if you guys did see the toy hunt the other day, you'd know that the alternate attire, it was the black. I've never found the red one in the wild, but that one was like, at least mine, again, when we reviewed it, like the beard was weird, man. It was just like, it was really dark. It was more of a brown, but this is so cool, man. Such a nice piece. The new molding that they had to add to the figure, because we had never Never seen something like that in the past like yeah they could have gone with fabric kind of like what we saw right here with the target exclusive Cassius Ono Ono right here man I don't know I haven't checked the second market lately on this but I can't help but to feel like this one has got to be sitting pretty high price wise because to this date you guys and you know we're always out there hunt we're always looking and we always have some great friends out in the community looking for this still have yet to come across that piece right there and Rey Mysterio he got I would say three maybe four elites you had gotten the one from wcw you got one from the elite series 69 but for me it was this one it was the mohawk look the added tassels like just the whole look of it all man a current ray mysterio is always nice he's always changing it up so when we got that look because this is the most common look that i would have to say ray mysterio uses from a or a regular basis elite series 69 like 69 you guys when it comes to like all of the waves that might be the elite wave for me for the year i mean everyone has their own personal preference but this like the big thighs on there well actually no hero fix that didn't come like that no it did matter of fact this was a fix up as well that was the bobby Roode. that was the i guess the only minor drawback was that it did have small thighs but again if you were going to display with those pants those camel pants that it that it came with it really yeah it wasn't going to really change anything heel ziggler the chase right here when it comes to dolph ziggler the black one was nice but the cloth jacket that it came with i don't know why i didn't have this during the video i couldn't find it looked in the accessory bin but the bright pink that chase it's like it's always hopping around back and forth you guys when it comes to these chase figures it's either going to be the original like for me i always love bright colors so when it comes to the sigler the bright pink right but when it comes to like the regular figures for elite series 72 and 73 i don't know man like the gold yes and the black was nice but when it came to like lucha house party i preferred the originals for those uh specific waves and then elias right here the entrance gray it's, I was, dude, I was confounded, man. I, I could not figure out if they ever released another Elias, how they were gonna uh, do, how they were gonna uh, do themselves, but they did. They brought something different with this one, man. They brought the man bun. They brought just a brand new look, which I'm still hoping, man. 2020, Mattel, if you guys don't pick up the ball on getting a man bun on the big dog on Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, he'll be like, Hero Fix, calm down, dude. You look, how long did it take for them, for them to make me a leather jacket made out of fabric so I can get all poseable? You make a great point, Finn Balor. I can't argue with you. It is very, very true. So this right here, why wouldn't we not feature this Finn Balor? The best and only only non-demon ballad that we've gotten that is like sitting super i mean look at this pile it's already sitting really high and believe it or not we're only about halfway there you guys i know there's a lot of figures that we're covering but we have to because they brought a lot to it this aj styles hero fix that didn't come with the hair it did not another fix up i guess there's a lot of fix-ups in here well you know like even though some of these figures required little changes to make them a little bit better it's still like they had to be featured in this video and that kind of goes the same for this triple h i don't know whether we can put this into this video I mean, we did get one. I haven't unboxed it yet, so I do still have one with the Ultimate Edition torso. But again, Ultimate Edition Triple H with that, I, I would say, more accurate look when it comes to the the bell right here it's a really really nice triple h daniel bryan see not the not only the first one but also the second one this is the first and then this is the second one right here for 2019 both of them are great obviously this is not the head scan that it come with you don't want to see the head scan that it did come with because then you'd be asking me hero fix why is this figure even featured on this video well look we need a current look i guess it'd be best if we put it onto this one because this is what we mainly seen them but nonetheless this one as well as the, the hemp title oh my gosh love both of these daniel bryan and then when it comes to Ali, uh, here's the thing. I, yes, I want to have the red one here on the video as well. But as you guys already know, 
That one got converted with the red attire, AJ Styles. And if you did miss it, man, go on the channel. Go check out the videos. I know there may be a lot of you that are new to the channel. So that's the reason why you're seeing the yellow one feature. But yes, I would most definitely, even though we did get it not too long ago, but I got to get it unboxed or whatever. But yes, both of them, I would say both Ali's are an absolute must when it comes to like 2019. And that goes the same right here for Jeff Hardy, the Survivor Series. So many Jeff Hardys. This one, best non-painted head scan ever. This one right here, this you had two options. Either had this one or you had the chase, which when it comes to the chase, you technically need two of them because then we had gotten, uh, I think it was this figure. Yes, come to think of it. No, it was a basic that had gotten the fix up. But you need two of these so you can get that basic also converted, but all of them. And then this one came with three different head scans. A lot of Jeff Hardys. I've, I feel like we're featuring pretty much like 75% of them, but <laughs> dude, these figures are great. The face paint on them, the posability options, the interchangeable parts to it all. Jeff Hardy, dude, they always do good with it, man. That's why you might see the transition of him being swapped out into the top picks, because I know they did that with, I think, Braun Strowman, and I think Jeff Hardy might be the next runner-up. Now, one that it's really difficult to find, even in the second market for a decent price, it's right here. Gargano. The Spidey look or the Venom look as some might others call it. Regardless of those kick pads. Regardless of how bad it was that they did not give us the proper look when it came to the kick pads. Dude. This new scan right here, this was the introduction of it all. I believe the upcoming basic might also have that one as well. Kane, the ringside exclusive. This one was well, actually Undertaker because it was it was Undertaker dressed as Kane. You could have had two figures for the price of one. Obviously, you know, if you are like only end up picking up one, which it's kind of difficult not to pick up two. That way you can capitalize of the full benefits of the figure. What I'm saying is that this one right here, it's like for any collector man, like Kane has always had some of the greatest looking attires in the solid red look with the full-on sleeve because anything prior to this like for example the target exclusive and elite series 12 they had the yes it was the left arm it was all uncovered. Mabel right here. We're going to see Viscera come 2020. I cannot wait. This one did have a chase. I like the original one better. I don't know why. Something about how the design was, you know, flaring up as opposed to the other one. And just the, the brand new sculpt, man. This one was an absolute must when it came to revamping and not reusing any used parts that we had gotten with previous figures. So the fact that Mattel went out of their way and did that, hey, we appreciate that. And that goes the same right here for another entrance greats ultimate edition hero fix get it right yes yes all right i give my bad this head scan right here we had three different options we had the mean look we had the screaming like where the tongue is sticking on then he had like a regular look plus some nice fabric goods some nice little tassels right here to wrap up the entire figure i'm telling you man like apart from the torsos on some of them like for the triple h that we had to take care of a lot of those nice to get with the extra pieces with it all plus you know extra articulation never hurt anybody Sanity, unfortunately, did not do all that great. I mean, in figure form, yes. I think both of these. As a matter of fact, all four of them, but I really had to narrow it down. What I'm saying is like main roster. I think this is the reason why they didn't do all that great. Yes, when he first debuted, when he first started popping up. Second market, he was a hot commodity. People were paying well over $100. But just I feel like the whole failure of their careers would really affected these figures. Which is, you know, it's one of those things that it didn't make much sense. Because all the stuff that you got with this, like the entrance pieces, all the tattoos. Get into some women figures right here. Another Ultimate Edition, Ron to Rousey there was a lot of good women's figures this year they really just changed the game I mean they gave us extra articulation not just with ultimate edition but also the regular elite wave I don't know why this one didn't get it I feel like Liv Morgan should have gotten it I think it was right around the same time but the man did Ron or Becky Lynch right here she got it with this one as a matter of fact when it comes to the regular wave I believe she was the very first one to get that you know included with that and the Kaibuki Warriors I gotta feature both of them man we need to feature the survivor series no it was the target exclusive sorry i know survivor series is walmart and then this one right here both of which this one was not an exclusive this was part of elite series 73 or was it 72 so both of them the belts yes they were not included with it but these custom figure belts right here from wwe figure artists really wrap up these figures quite well the big show the most underrated figure right here for 2019 this one was a for a lot of people maybe because they didn't live during this time 
Entertainment era, but I always wanted an Attitude Era big show. So when we got this, as well as The Undertaker, the American badass dude, boy, oh boy, it was the WHF universe marking out. Well, at least the Legends fans, but both of them, yes. The jacket, it didn't come with it. We had to add it just to kind of give it the whole look. But the number one figure that I would have to say that just really dominated the whole, like, regardless of him not being considered, I think he's more of a mid-carter more than anything, but I have to go with Ricochet. It's got to be my favorite figure for 2019. There were so many positives for this figure. For example, a brand new sculpt, a new torso, a lot of confusion at first. Some people thought it was Seth Rollins. Some people thought it was Fandango. But it was confirmed that, uh, that Mattel did indicate that this was a brand new look for it all. Plus the tattoo work, the likeness of the figure, the entrance gear that you're not seeing on this. This one right here, for sure number one. But again, want to hear your top five. Some of them may have not been in this video. Even though we have a huge pile. Look at the, the size of this pile, you guys. Even though that this pile is standing at least about, I don't know, about 8 inches high. I'm sure there's still a lot that are missing, but for me, you guys, this right here, this has got to be the best of 2019. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.